At the World Economic Forum Annual Summit, India is represented in large number by Indian companies, Indian conglomerates. One such conglomerate is Apollo Tires here. While it's very good in exporting from India as well, Make in India, it has been doing from the last many years. And we are joined by Neeraj Kanwar, CMD of Apollo Tires. Thanks for talking to us first of all, sir. Uh, here we are seeing for the first time, snowless Davos and dark clouds here also. But what about the global economy? You uh, sit in uh, London, you stay there. From that perspective, give us some sense, how is the world economy looking like as far as Indian companies are concerned and on a major global macro level? Well, I think, you know, we are, uh, there's inflation happening everywhere and economies are suffering today because of inflation and because of oil prices at $110 a barrel. But we at Apollo have taken various steps. Pre-COVID, uh, we are back to those same levels. COVID has taught us a lot of things uh, uh, and the pandemic has in, in fact encouraged us to do much better. Um, our European operations are doing very good. Our EBITDA margins are on a high right now, above 17-18%. India is having a challenge because of crude prices and natural rubber prices. Our EBITDA margins are down, but growth is there. I'm seeing the CV segment coming back because of all the infrastructure investment that's gone in, into India. I'm seeing CV segment back. Passenger car is still having a challenge because of semiconductors. So. We are, we are taking on those challenges, but I think I'm very uh, optimistic about the growth that I see ourselves in India. India is on the move. India today is talking about 8.5%, 9% GDP. Uh, I just heard two ministers, uh, Mr. Piyush Goel and Hardeep Puri, and things are looking very, very positive. And in India. from here, the outlook for the overall auto sector, because you are directly, uh, you are part of it uh, clearly. So what is the outlook for auto sector uh, as we are seeing in India, though they are waiting list on cars, uh, what across the world, but in Europe, the car sales are not increasing that much. So how do you see the overall outlook for the world uh, auto sector? Well, like I said, I'm positive. Europe is having its challenges, uh, but then there's an opportunity with the Russian crisis because there were 10 million passenger car tires coming into Europe. So that is stopped and that gives us a huge growth opportunity. Uh, we are ex uh, looking at expansions in our Hungarian plant. We are looking at our plant in, da in Holland how to see how to improve that produ uh, production and try and gain market share. Uh, India. On the other hand, I'm very optimistic, like I said to you. There is a huge opportunity for us to grow in India. Uh, like I said, CV is on the move. Farm is having its challenges, but it's a cyclical business. We've seen a growth for farm in the past three years. So now it is coming to uh, a degrowth, but I, I see it picking up in the future. You are a conglomerate grown out of India and now uh, outside the world. You are exporting to many countries. Uh, what according to you, back home in India, uh, steps being taken, are there enough steps being taken to push the growth or, or to India towards more economic recovery or more needs to be done from the government side? I think India is facing challenges. Uh, like, like you said, we are exporting 15 to 20 percent of our production into the US and into Europe. Uh, the biggest challenge that we are facing is supply chain. Uh, and I think India needs to build a lot on infrastructure, uh, sp specifically in ports and warehousing. Uh, we are very, very low on this and, I, and I, I have requested some of the state governments to try and see how they can put up infrastructures in the ports where we need huge uh, square uh, feet, millions of square feet of space for warehousing. And the ports have to become much more efficient. Uh, the other side of the story is containers. Uh, it's impossible to get containers and to export out. It's taking us more than four months to get tires into Europe. That is just ridiculous. We can't uh, move out of the market. And therefore, I think the efficiency of supply chain has to get better in India. Thank you so much, sir. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.